Welcome back DigiDees to something as always a little bit different. This week we have a competition. Each day of the week we'll release a long form video of a new game. Monday we have Frostpunk, Tuesday's Ixion. Right in the middle we have City Skylines for Wednesday, with their forgotten but beloved game of Astroneer on Thursday. Nearing the end we have Hades on Friday and to finish it all off we have the long awaited Isaac Repentance on Saturday. Each episode will run a full 7 days and be tallied on its views and interaction. So if you really like one of these games that released this week, then make sure to share the video around to your known humans. The video with the most views and interaction will win a full week of episodes. And if you guys really like it, we can always do more. So make sure to subscribe to check out the new content and comment down below which one you think will be the winner. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to GDs to that's right a tried and true classic Hades. Hades was a super popular game and still is a super popular game and in anticipation for Hades 2 coming out I believe in early access quarter 2. I say we give this game a good old try you know I have always loved playing it. It is not gonna say the best but it is one of the, the top roguelike dungeon crawler games out there that you could ever really play. It is beautiful on its background, its story, its lore, and we're going to be starting a brand new game here today to make sure that no one gets spoiled on anything. In case, you know, you have somehow been living underneath the rock and have never seen Hades before, then this is going to be your first time experience. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be worth the buy. Look for a sale. Honestly, I know that there are a lot of sales going on right now, so maybe it's even on sale right now. Who knows? It's probably not too expensive, about like 20 or 30 bucks. So give it a try. It's a beautiful game. And, you know, hey, if you're not convinced, why not watch the rest of the video and let me know what you think down in the comments below. How about we get started, let my rambling stop because as much as I love this soundtrack going on in the background, mm, my god it is tasty to the ears. We have a lot more to be doing here and we have to be playing the game. Let's get started. Few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Oh. Ah. Goodbye, father. Goodbye, father. Why does he almost kind of sound a little bit British? You know? I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. It's always bluffing. Like, you know, I have played this game a whole bunch, so I do know a lot of what was gonna happen, so I'm not gonna be able to give you that very first, you know, time experience playing the game. But we seem to be kind of like, you know, it's a classic dungeon crawl. You're kind of coming through pre, you know, randomly generated rooms and enemies. You kind of have like your dash ability. You can move around. You have one dash that recharges every few seconds. You can get out of the way of your attacks. As well as you have your right hand attack. Pass out a little bit of like a rune of some sorts. A projectile of, light, of lights. You have your Q ability, which is a smash down. And as well, you have, well, help. you also have your classic good old smash to, you know, smash down the mouse one. You know, you could old regular main attack. And you just kind of use these combinations to go ahead and keep in the area and keep them stunned a little bit and do your damage. Ooh, beautiful. More enemies keep on keep on spawning. We have a little bit of like these wizards that shoot out little black hole projectiles of sorts. Like that, like dark magic. Their aim isn't the best though. So let's go ahead and take these guys out. See where this game really is going to be taking us. Oh, one final wave. There we go. Okay. I was about to say, it was really quiet there for a second. It was almost like eerie. You know, like when you have the guy who talks all the time, suddenly no noise comes through. You're like, okay, what's about to happen? <laughs> you know, like when the room gets quiet and you say something really dumb, like, and then everyone in the classroom just looks at you. It's got to be her. Then here goes nothing. <clears throat> in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. This message. We are getting a boon from a god from above. We are Zagreus, the son of Hades, trying to escape out through the dungeon. And it appears that one of the gods are trying to make contact with us. It's got to be her. Who is her? Hey, Athena? No yeah, Athena, yeah. Now, let's get you from that miserable place. I'll see that all of us upon Olympus do our part, beginning here with me. Ah, so Athena's trying to get us out of here and give them up to Olympus. Okay, and this is how we get our boons. Every single room, you have a choice or you have a vision of what is about to happen next. And you fight for that room and get something in return. So let's see here. What are our boons? We have your attack is stronger and can deflect by 40% is pretty good. Your cast damage, which is my right click with that rune, damages foes in a small area and can deflect. Ooh, or your dash deals damage and can deflect. Ooh, okay. Now, the attack stronger and deflect does sound amazing. Now, what I know just from experience that your dash being able to deflect is amazing. 
because what better way than to avoid damage than your dashing ability when you're moving around the map to also deflect shots because god knows you will dash directly into those shots a hundred times in a row <laughs> so being able to be able to deflect them is going to be fantastic you you are protected a lot better on your health moving on forward we had a kind of like a dark symbol like you know almost like goopy looking thing that was sitting there as a reward whoa we have as a reward trying to avoid all these big bulbous looking dudes trying to see if i can get a good angle on them before they like attack me whoa oh yeah trying to <laughs> they're almost kind of cute and they're like they're they're big like bulls just kind of like blobbing around i don't know <laughs> is that how you call it just they're just blobbing around to collect. to collect we are getting 10 what is it dark energy of sorts that's right we are collecting actually no i think it's called dark elixir so we're collecting dark elixir and right now we have two choices to go from we can either do athena on the left i think that's athena yeah that's another athena on the left or we can go for a power up on the right the power up on the right will up will give you the choice to power up any one of your boons but athena on the left can give us more choices of you know like, like athena so i'm gonna go ahead and you know choose athena over here get another choice see what else we can get on top of our stack of like our build that's going on here she has a lot of different boons that can provide to us take out these little wizard boys you know, dark wizard gang money over here trying to cast our dark magic on us. Any of you, leave a comment down below if you know what dark wizard money gang is. <laughs> you know, like honestly, I don't have no idea where that's originated, but I've been hearing that around a lot lately and just like, I don't know. I've been loving it. It's just, just wizards doing wizardry things, you know? What can you say? You know, what, what would a wizard do best except doing wizardry? What do you have, Athena? What is our ability next? Ooh, so we have the ability to go for attack a stronger deflect again. Your special is stronger, which I believe is my Q ability. Yep, your Q ability and can deflect. Your cast damage is bonus smaller can deflect. I'm gonna go for my attack is stronger and can deflect because now my dodge, yeah, my, now my dash and my attack can deflect. Like it's gonna be hard for anything to hit me. So we have a choice of a key or some dark elixir. The dark elixir is what we use to upgrade ourselves over time, and the keys can what we can use to uh. What are keys used for again? I don't remember what keys are used for exactly. I forget what they're used for, but I well, let's go get one. We may as well. We already have a little bit of dark elixir. May as well grab a key just so we can find out what they do in the future. I kind of forget what they do. I, you know, I cannot remember. No, I'm trying to remember, but I'm also trying not to get hit at the same time and play at the same time and keep a commentary going at the same time. So we don't have too much silence, but uh, you know, <laughs> as I just spit out an entire sentence without breathing. <laughs> I had to make up for lost time of silence. What can I say? The words just got to keep on coming. They don't stop coming. You know, it's it's a curse. It's a curse. I don't know if it's because of YouTube, but honestly, I do that a lot even too sometimes. Like when I'm just, you know, talking with people online. Like once it's like, you know, like, ooh, it's my turn to talk. I will just straight up just yap on for like a good 15 minutes. And then I won't talk for like an hour. But as soon as it's my turn to talk again, man, I tell you what, I'm going to get everything out at the same time. <laughs> but, you know, it's just is how i do it so we have we only have a one choice here but we have a choice for more health that is fantastic so we're gonna be upgrading our health a little bit we our health down there in the very bottom left we have 45 out of 50 we have taken a little bit of damage barely dodged that almost went on top of the the spike trap as well and some of these guys have yellow health bars the yellow health bars are armor so and they don't get stunned when you're hitting their armor so you're not really gonna like stop them from attacking you or like you know knock them around or, you know, do anything of the sort. So they're kind of just going to be tanking the damage while they have the armor. And, ooh, that gives us plus 25? That's a lot. forgot what it is like to play this game without any, like, you know, negative modifiers that, on, you know, at the very start of your run. Because, you know, like, once... <laughs> you know, of course, because it is a dungeon crawler, you know, eventually you get to a point where you can just kind of, like, add, you know, extra negative debuffs to your run to make it a little bit harder and stuff like that, you know, of the sorts. It's a very fun, it's a very versatile, it's a very, you know inclusive type of game like there is just so much it's, it's amazing that it honestly doesn't like still get talked about a little bit more nowadays it's a shame to see that not more people play it so be kind of cool maybe even see a full playthrough you know might be kind of a niche market that i can kind of fill people don't really do a hades playthrough nowadays you know <laughs> so it'd be kind of cool to do that i mean i don't know that i actually haven't researched it yet but i can't really think of the last time i saw anything for hades you know typically i get a lot of you know you know gaming content recommendations to me in general okay so i have the choice for a merchant where i can go spend my gold i only have 88 gold right now and 20 elixir or i can go to the left and go 
towards uh, another god. I don't remember what that one is. Might be, I don't think that's Hermes. That's gonna be, um, 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 oh, it's, I don't even know. It's been a while, but it also has a skull icon on it. So it's probably gonna be a mini boss room. So let's go ahead and see what this little mini boss room has to store for us. And you know, they typically also give you better rewards too. Oh God, okay. So we have these two guys that are throwing these bombs around in the room. And we also have a whole bunch of rock and roll music that's going on in the background. <laughs> let's go ahead and try to focus up and try to take this guy out in the side. Just hit him into the wall. Come on, get rid of that. Get out of the wall. Oh, he explodes on, he explodes on death. Nice to know. I'm gonna have to remember that when I kill you next. Oh, get out of the way. He's dropping a bomb on top of us. He is taking extra damage when I have my rune inside of him too. So I'm not exactly sure by how much, but I, I know it's a little bit. Kill him, kill him, and then dodge out of the way. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, baby. Nice, and also a beautiful, like, end to the riff of that guitar there. Who do we have? The heavenly Archer I know of. Well, several, really. Anyway, in the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Yeah, there actually are a lot of archers in Olympus, you know. I mean, it's kind of like olden times. It makes sense, though. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you, too. I mean, yeah, I mean, sure, why not? I mean, what kind of boons do you have to offer, Artemis? You're special stronger, so my Q with a 20% chance to deal critical. Your cast seeks foes. Oh, so it's, 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 it's heat-seeking casting? With a 10% chance to do critical damage. Cast damage goes to 90, and critical damage is 200%, so that's, it's not an extra, is, are you saying it's 200%, so it's 180, or are you adding 200% on top of it? So it's like 180, and then like, and then in like 270. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure for critical, but a 10% chance any damage you deal has a chance to be... Oh, hang on a second. Pressure points, any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. A 4% chance. I will, yeah, I will take that. Definitely. That is going to be great for bosses. Because, like, they may not necessarily be, like, so important for, like, you know, just hitting people randomly around in the room. Looks like we're getting another key here. Only one choice. Um, But, you know, there is still a chance that we will get criticals every once in a while. Especially not when I land on top of spikes. Oh, God. Especially when you have a whole bunch of enemies like this. All these skulls. Um, God, trying to avoid these spikes right now with all my dashing around. It's almost kind of hard to follow. There we go. That's actually kind of a quick room. You know, I just kind of became very self-conscious about the idea of the keyboard click clacking. So I hope that it is not coming through on the microphone at all. Hopefully my voice is kind of overpowering it enough, which is a little bit reason why I am talking a little bit more even to while playing this. Because I am trying to like talk a little bit over the fact of, uh, you know, having the click clack of the keyboard. I actually have like, I don't remember if I've said this in, the, in this video yet or not, but I have foam on my keyboard in front of me trying to absorb some of the sound. So it's hopefully it'll work. I don't remember if I've said that or not. I have done actually a few recordings so far that have all lasted about like one minute and I kept on messing up my intro and I keep on doing it until I came up with this one. So, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because I'm just going to yammer on. But you know, the, the intro does matter because you got to get that hook, you know, you got to get that. You got to make sure that people are paying attention. Um, what do we want here? Do we want to have another 25 health that'll help us survive longer? Or do we want to have a power up that's going to make one of our boons stronger? Well, I mean, being able to up our critical chance would actually be pretty good. I'm not exactly sure what we would up for the other ones besides do a little bit more damage with our dash. I guess base attack too. I kind of want the health though. I kind of want the 25 health is hard to beat. And considering that we're only in like 64, I mean, I mean, you know, 75 overall, like we could just up that up to 100. I mean, that is how math works. Like that is like, that's exactly how math works, honestly. But like, that's a lot. <laughs> like, that's nice. And also, these enemies just keep on spawning. Oh my god. Okay, I need to move out of here. Let me get rid of these stupid wizard money gangs over here. Because they are just throwing out all these projectiles. More enemies keep on spawning. And luckily, my attack does deflect and my dash does deflect. So all those projectiles that are coming into me, I am actually kind of deflecting them away a little bit. But I cannot deflect like two tons of blubber when they come dashing at me. Nor can I deflect this, this forehead of a skull that just hit me in the back when it smacks into me at full force. And they spawn all around me. Wizard money gang, get out of here. My God, <laughs> there are so many just dark, these dark little balls of energy. I'm just smacking around and just dashing as much as I can and just get rid of you as quick as I can. My God, get out of here. And you know what? I think we're going to be playing as long as ooh, we have the choice for money or a boon. I want to go for a boon. Uh, we're going to be playing for as long today, it, as long as it takes for my food to arrive. That's right. I have ordered Taco Bell through Grubhub. But the thing is, half the time they don't deliver. So we're in this little fun limbo game where like, you know, hey, I might sit here for an hour or two before they tell me, sorry, it's canceled. We don't want to do it. 
even though I gave a like, you know, I gave a 37% tip for the driver. You know, what do I know? <laughs> what do I know? You know, so we're just gonna play this fun game where we don't know if it's gonna do, if it's gonna get delivered or not. So we're gonna play as long and to the point that I either one, get my food or B, I find out that it's been canceled. So I really hope I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, but I gotta record, you know, like I, I wanna make food, but you know, I got home from work. I'm like, oh, I should probably record. I had some other things to do. And then, you know, I'm like, man, I don't have enough time to cook anything. Like I'll just order Taco Bell. So we'll see what happens. We have the ability for special being stronger with a 20% chance to be a critical. Ooh, my God. Special 59% damage extra. You after you cast you after you cast or hit with an attack or special, fire a seeking arrow. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. After you cast attack or special. So literally any single time I do anything, I'm gonna fire a heat seeking arrow that does 10 damage. Okay, I don't even want to read what that critical one was at the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit more dark um, energy, I suppose. I don't want, I don't need too many keys, I don't think. Uh, hello, this area is very musical all of a sudden. <laughs> Came in like someone was like playing the xylophone on me. My God, hello. <laughs> um, you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes when I'm editing this, I don't wash through the entire, like, you know, footage again. Also, yeah, that, that he seeking arrow is amazing. Those things are flying around on the map. That is oh that is beautiful that is probably the peak like ability to come across um but like you know i don't of course watch through all like one to two hours of footage again like i i could if i had more time but you know it's not my job to be a full-time editor it's, it's my it's my job to be a editor a recorder and a artist <laughs> you know and marketer all at the same time uh looks like we're going into a merchant we should be almost done with this floor this is probably gonna be the last yep this is the last one before uh before the main boss so we can buy health for t for 125 gold we can buy a boon for 150 and we can also heal up for 50. well i only really have enough to buy one of these because then i won't have enough to get another one i think when i get the boon i mean the health would be nice but i'm gonna get the boon the boon is gonna be a little bit more helpful since neither do you i'm letting you have this yeah Karen does not talk much um let's see here my special stronger your cast seeks foes with 10 chance to do a critical after your critical damage to a foe a foe nearby is marked Ooh, okay so i mean i don't use my special much and i don't use my cast much you know i don't use my right ability you know like ruin i do every once in a while but then it gets stuck in an enemy so you don't really use it all that often i don't use my q ability all that often but after you deal critical damage to a foe a foe nearby is marked and then that enemy has a 30 percent chance to have critical on them so that's gonna be really good for bosses because i think they can you know mark their nearby enemies and stuff but that's gonna be it's also gonna let you know like when you did do a critical it's also kind of it's a little hard to tell like when you got one very informative Karen. see you Karen, mate just minding my own business taking in the sights and sure is awfully convenient to be running into you like this i had all this coin i wanted to get rid of Got all this money, Karon. Don't you just want to, you know, I did actually just buy from you. Is that all you have to say? It's just, uh, <laughs> break all your pots. What is this? Beyond the present chamber lies the outermost perimeter of Tartarus, promising terrifying dangers far beyond the underworld princess reckoning. That's just terrifying. And also a beautiful voice actor. I may say so myself. Who gave you that voice? <laughs> Uh, I don't see anything left in here yet. Okay, let's let's get on to the boss room. Let's see what our first run has. Like, I'm surprised I'm even doing so well in this run to begin with. Hello there. Halt, Sagrius. Not one step further. Come on, Make. Haven't we had more than enough of each other by now? Besides, don't you have some place else to be? Your father sent me. All in all, I'd rather be on your bad side than his. Now you can turn back like a good little man, or I can send you home the painful way. What'll it be? I'll have to go with the painful way. A man after my own heart. Okay, and yeah, she's trying to kill me now. All right, well, that's just how it is. No, they, she has to... Oh, God, she has to stop me. That did a lot of damage. I... You know, I'm, you can win this. It's not likely, but you can win this. You know, where I'm supposed to have a lot more power-ups at this point. I just need to play a little bit more careful, I suppose. Yeah, see, now this is where the march is going to be important because now I can get rid of these nearby enemies a little bit sooner. The nearby enemies can also 
put a mark on her, which is a nice ability because they don't just have another chance of getting a critical on her. Move out of the way. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Okay, put the rune in her to do a little bit more damage. She's shooting it over stuff. Deflect some of it. I'm surprised I'm not deflecting more. She's going to dash at me. Nice, nice. Uh, I need to get rid of the wizard money game. Yes, you have to say their full name every time. Even though it changes a little bit each time I keep on saying it. <laughs> I keep on I keep on saying it. Sometimes it's dark wizard money. Sometimes it's just wizard money. Sometimes it's, you know, money gang. Sometimes it's just wizard gang. Who knows? Ah, 26. Down to 26 health. Get rid of all these extra mobs. Mob control, mob control. Come on, come on. Oh, God. I'm surprised I'm not deflecting more. There is just so much of that. I just need to stay out of the way and not, you know, run into it face first. Okay, let's, let's use her dashes against her because she isn't very mobile after the dashes. I can stay behind this pillar. May oh, God. <laughs> I cannot stay behind that pillar. I cannot stay behind that pillar. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I can stay behind here. <laughs> it does an area of effect damage out in the field. Oh, oh, okay, that is not a pillar. That is not a pillar. I'm down to 10 health. Get rid of Wizard Money Gang over here. She is getting close. She's getting close. Getting close. Doing a lot of damage. A lot of damage. A lot of damage. Focus her. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Fury's been vanquished. Double kill. <laughs> or just, I don't know. Single kill. Killing spree. I don't know. <laughs> what do we have here? Titan blood? I'm declaiming Titan Blood. Battle out Tatarus with a Sing Blade. Yeah, I'm down to 10 health. I'm down to 10 health. I, I mean, like I said, you can win this. You do heal up a little bit. I only heal at 20, though. You can win this, but, um. <laughs> Don't mind me, Father. Sorry, right, Father. I didn't mean to, you know, stomp your foes. Uh, let's see here. So for three count for 25 gold for the next three encounters, slain foes have a 50% chance to drop health. Would be really nice for me to heal up. And I do have, how much gold do I have? 38. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. And then also gain 20% move speed. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It's not all that important, but I suppose I'll take it. Why not? For 10 gold. I'll just, uh, we may as well. We may as well. All right, let's keep on moving through and see how far we can get for only 30 health. None other than those in the trusted inner circle of Lord Hades are authorized to enter the intricate chambers connecting the vast regions of the underworld. But the prince decides to barge in anyway. Oh, thank God he finally said the word underworld. You know, I have been avoiding trying to say this place's name for the longest time. I've just been kind of addressing it like it's hell. I don't think I even said hell like once, maybe like once or twice. I don't know. But I've been trying to not address it because I couldn't remember what it was called. The underworld. <laughs> yeah. What can, I, what can I say? What can I say? I'm sorry. I, just, I, I couldn't. I just couldn't remember the word. I'm like, oh, what's it called here? Definitely seen better days. Yeah, this place has seen better days. But what a scenic view of all of your, uh, you know, very uh, various lava lakes of various depths and various counts of souls and bodies inside them. You know, it's very um, beautiful. I love it. I love what you done with the place. What do you have here? Another thing to examine? Candles. The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in scintillating flame, having been flooded by the river Phlegathon, whose hideously superheated contents could bring death swiftly even to those resistant to most heat. I'm sorry, can you pronounce those words one more time? The once verdant plains of Asphodel are now engulfed in the in the scintilla in the scintilla with was in a scintillating flame have been flooded by the river of Philagathon. <laughs> like say that three times fast. My my god. Holy crap. Pay, pay whoever that that voice actor is like double for even trying to pronounce that crap. My god. Okay, well we are moving forward. Looks like uh, I wasn't paying attention close enough. It, I think what's the reward? Gold? You know, this, these fire seeking arrows are just amazing. And also we are starting to see a little bit more enemies now compared to like that mini boss that we saw before but they you know oh god just threw a bomb on the ground you know but they're not as strong but it is the same variant of monster is a kind of like a you know a, you know a sneak peek as to what we're going to be up against in the future which is kind of cool take this guy up before he even has a chance to throw any of these bombs out of the ground just keep him stunned because while they don't have any armor you can just keep him kind of a little bit stunned oh god move out of the way <laughs> oh deflect that 
Yeah, I can deflect those shots just fine, but I cannot deflect the ones that, you know, the uh, theory was throwing out at us. Oh, deflected, and there we go. Yeah, it was gold. 100 gold. You know, it's still not bad. It's a good amount. Anything extra around this area? Any extra, like, dialogue you want to give me? Because there's something very, you know, intrinsic about the way that the lava flows in between the different, you know, pillars of bone and ash. You know, the facilitating, you know, dust of the grime of your fallen enemies and souls of who have sinned and filled the halls of the dead with nothing more than their dreaded thoughts of fear and flame uh, you know something of that sort i'm on fire <laughs> oh good that's right they're dropping food i have not been i just i guess i've just been unlucky and i've been getting too much food unless i've just been gathering and just not been paying attention oh god they're armored they're just as strong as the mini bosses <laughs> i'm burning okay stay out of the way stay out of the lava just try to be a little bit more methodical about this if i can use my special you gonna throw anything he's on fire now more gonna spawn you still got more and they're all <laughs> and they're all armored oh jesus this might be the they're trying to kill me they're like you're not supposed to survive this long <laughs> like why are you still playing <laughs> you're supposed to be dead i'm sorry i'm trying i'm a veteran i'm a veteran i'm smashing buttons and trying not to get that ah, ooh. oh god i thought i died there and then i heard a beautiful guitar rift going on yeah. <laughs> leave it to hades my god on my authority. All right, getting more dark elixir. You know, this is going to be nice. It's a good run. That means that like, basically after a very first run, we are going to have a lot of stuff to upgrade us. And this is a very small room. Jesus. <laughs> Hello there, dark wizard money. Did I did I interrupt one of your meetings? Holy crap. You're just all sitting there waiting for it, huh? <laughs> You're just all cuddled around in a circle. Oh, my God. Ah, ah. <laughs> Honestly, I almost feel like taking that, making that into like a meme. Just take that into a GIF and then just like, I don't know, super saturate and put some text on it. Dark Money Wizard Gang. Oh, my God. If I remember to do that in the future. Gain 10 Elixir. We are out of the boon that gave us a percentage chance of gaining health along the way. We have the chance at a mini boss or getting gold. A mini boss with a new boon. You know what? I'm a man of skill and and danger. Let's do a mini boss with 18 health left. You know what? This game's trying to kill me. Let's let's see if they can kill me. Let's give them something worthwhile trying to kill me with. Oh, you got you got Medusa head over there, and you got a big old stompy boy. Well, guess what? I have the ability to deflect shots, so I don't have to worry about your stone petrification abilities of your projectiles unless I happen to be really dumb and get hit by one of them. So I can just focus on hitting you and dodge this giant stone pillar up in the sky. Is this the best what you got? Ow, ow, I have two health. <laughs> if maybe if I'm dumb and just keep on dashing back and forth into the same place. No. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I got too cocky. Damn it. Yep, walking out of the pool of blood. Don't mind me. House of Hades. Ugh, I feel like we could really could have gone a lot further too. Yeah, you yeah, don't mind me just walking back in. It's like, you know, like I, I'm running away and you like go to your friend's place and you come back like later that night. Like, I'm hungry. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Hades where, wait, I know you. I guess that means you died out there, huh? Well, don't be sad though. Pretty much everybody dies sometime. And technically the reason that we're even down here is because we died at first, right? Because we had to die first to come down here? Isn't that how that works? I don't know. I'm not very Some good at uh, knowing all this, you know, lore. Lore them, father. Father. Stupid boy. I told you nobody gets out of here, whether alive or dead. So how was your wanton ransacking of my domain? Nice, I actually killed your sister. That's not a sister. Um, I've, I've killed one of your minions. They tried to stop me. Was it theory? Oh yes, I sent her hacking. Greetings, father. My ransacking was a delight. Thank you for asking. So <laughs> exactly. I'll just be on my way again. <laughs> you don't mind me, I'll be on my way then, good son. On your way indeed. What do I care? You shall never breach the surface. Go. See for yourself. Well, I mean, challenge accepted. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I don't, if you're gonna be like, fine, go try it. Okay, I will. Good to see you, lad. Despite the circumstances, remember your training out there. The pain of death. 
This but another obstacle. Hello there, Achilles, a forgotten hero, and probably one of my friends, I think. But... Fear is for the weak. Take care, Achilles. Take care, Achilles. I think he's like kind of close to a friend. It's not really. I don't know. What do we have here? The House of Hades, that dark and lavishly appointed lair of the underworld's king, is home not just to him, but to his willful progeny. You know I can awesome. hear you, old man. <laughs> yeah, you know I can hear you. <laughs> you, you. You monologuing to yourself. I can hear everything you say. Mother. Do not despair, child. Such setbacks are inevitable and may be overcome with effort and with time. We made contact with the goddess Athena. She shall be true to her word. I believe it, Nex. I'm grateful that you put us into contact. I know you took a considerable risk in reaching out. But the risk is not to me. I expected the Olympians would involve themselves in this eventually. Reveal to them no more than they already know. Are we understood? Yes, we are. Then go. Yes, mother. Ooh, do we have it? Oh, Fury. Hey, Fury. <laughs> you like getting your ass kicked? First of all, I gotta listen in on these whiffs. How goes it, Shanes? Now, that was one for the historians. Let me tell you. Cause of death, elephant? <laughs> Nothing more, just elephant. Eddie Fawns? I'm sorry. What ha What? What? the elephant? Did he, did he eat you? Did he crush you? Do you know, like... Just elephant. All right. Uh, hi, Theory. How'd it go? Megara. I'm sorry. I thought it was Theory. Oh, please. You definitely almost killed me. Don't worry, Meg. I eventually managed to get home the painful way after all. Yeah. Because of all the damage that you did, Meg. Look, I have a reputation to uphold. If you pass me again like that, you best go all the way. Now leave me be and don't think you're going to be so lucky next we meet out there. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I kind of swept the floor at the end this time on my very first run. I'm going to tell you, I'm probably going to be just as lucky next time. Although, to be fair, I did get some pretty good boons on deflecting stuff. So, yeah. So, let's go ahead and see the fruits of our labor into our room. What have all hey, of our room, things been doing? Back. Hey, room. Use the mirror to grow stronger. Night and darkness guide me. Ah, uh, beautiful. So, these are our starting runes that we can go ahead and upgrade with. So, we have ourselves 50 elixir. What do we have to do? We have Shadow Presence, deal bonus attack and special damage when striking foes from behind. Okay, so backstabbing does extra 10% per rank. And then we have Catholic, restore a small amount of health when you eg and when you exit the chamber. Okay, so every single time we go through a chamber, we heal a tiny bit. That's kind of good. Death Defiance, restore 50% health instead of dying when your life total is depleted one time per rank. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, we have 50. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, and then the next one's 500. I, yeah, I kind of figured that they were going to do that. So the first one's cheap to give you like one one death, and then you can keep on going at 50%. But after that, you lose. But the next to get another death to fight is going to be 500 elixir. Yeah, that's that's pretty expensive. From 30 to 500. Okay. <laughs> we also have greater reflex. Perform one additional dash in quick succession is pretty good. And I don't know what that middle icon is. Oh, for five, for five, um, for five keys reveals two new towns hidden inside the mirror of night or hidden inside you. Oh, <laughs> so we, we need more keys to unlock more boons in the mirror to upgrade. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the health upgrade because that seems pretty good. And you know, we do have 10 left over, so we may as well just get the extra 10% damage when hitting them from behind. Hey, that's honestly pretty good. So we have a death defiance. We heal one time every single time we exit the chamber and we do 10% more extra damage from behind now. Set. And that's that's kind of how you start to slowly build up and just keep on playing the game and keep on doing... Ooh, hello there. The bed chambers of Prince Zagreus lie in a perpetual state of utter disarray. Despite his lord and master of the house repeatedly insisting that he pick everything up. <laughs> I will not pick up this mess. Oh, come on. It's not that bad, is it? I mean, honestly, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, look, you got some clothes kind of laying around on the ground here, but that looks around. Probably not too much different from my place, <laughs> you know? So, you know, whatever. Move on through to the next room. Okay. This is where we store all of our weapons. Now, this is kind of where we have like, a choice between everything we want. Do we need... What do we need to unlock these? Need a key? Oh, we need multi... Okay. Okay, so we need four keys to unlock the spear. We need three keys to unlock the shield. We need one key to unlock the bow. Never really liked the bow because, like, for a game like this, a bow seems kind of lame. But you know, we'll we we'll give it a try. You know what? Let's let's maybe I will be proven wrong. 
Hello? What the? Nice place you got here, boyo. Name Skelly has it going, but enough with the smart talk already. I'm here to do a job. So let me have it. Give me everything you got. I don't remember having you on payroll, mate. Who's your supervisor? Oh, I'm not about to wrap my sources, pal. Just try and beat it out of me. I mean, all right. Yeah, so the bow is kind of a quick succession. You have to like click and drag. Or you don't have to click and drag, but you can just click and it fires off in the distance. But it doesn't do a lot of damage. We can still do our cast ability. And what is our Q? Ooh, our Q is a kind of a big spray. That does 30 damage, or is it? No, it's 10 per. So up close, you can do like 70 damage, 80 damage. But from far away, you're doing about 31 to 28 damage per like regular shot. We do also have... Oh, okay. So you can actually save up. That's 60 damage at full charge. Is that always? Just hold it. 60. And then half, 37, 26. Okay, so full charge is 60. And if you don't do a full charge, it does last. Makes sense. Okay. So you died, right? Why are you coming back? I'm just going to go ahead and kill you real quick. If you don't mind. Yeah, just go ahead and fire off these few shots. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. One more time. Beautiful. And then uh, are you going to come back one more time? And he's back. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, move forward with my life and do another run while I still have an opportunity. And you know what? Hey, I still have not had an update on that food. So, um, I don't know. It looks like we're still playing Digities. <laughs> Thunder. Zeus? Hello? Is this really him? Okay. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Greetings there, young man. Look, your father's always been rather difficult, and he's not so much as called in quite some time. He'll have a better home where you belong, here on Olympus. And to help you on your journey, have my blessing. <laughs> okay, I mean, sure. I mean, Zeus is like the drunk uncle at the family reunion that, like, everybody just, like, whispers, like, a little hush-hush about, okay? Like, like, Zeus is like, like, oh, hey there, Uncle Zeus. Like, what have you been up to? Oh, I, you know, I was down on on planet earth again oh okay what were you doing on earth oh i found this mistress like okay Zeus. <laughs> like okay we hear what it is okay what do we want here your special causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes so my little spray ability causes nearby bolts your cast is a burst of chain lightning that bounces between foes hello your dash causes a lightning bolt to strike nearby foes. i i kind of want the chain lightning i want to see what that's all about hello that's, that's kind of helpful and then it sticks into the last enemy and I already took five damage because I can't. Oh, that's right. I'm still dashing around trying to hit him with my sword. I don't have a sword. I have a bow. <laughs> Composed of such innumerable ever shifting interlocking chambers, the underworld of Lord Hades all but guarantees the dead shall there remain until the end of time. Good thing all right. I'm not dead. Yeah, good thing I'm not dead. <laughs> Receive for get a little bit more dark elixir. I would like to see how far we can get with this run, more so than ever trying to get resources. You know, resources are going to help us, you know, grow up in the boons, but we want to see exactly, ooh, we want to see how far we can get in this, you know, if, you know, in general, because the further we get, also the more rewards we get, I would think. Can I just use my spray ability on these guys? Whoa, he almost got me. Almost got me. No, a good full charge on them it does do the best because they don't have a lot of health to begin with. Kind of just takes them out right through his projectile and into him all the way from far away so yeah it is a little bit slower pace this is why i don't really like the bow because it seems just so seems so boring you know like i would like especially like there are other weapons you unlock later on too like you know i, I would rather much have like a lot of the other cooler ones like a shield or a spear rather than a bow i mean a bow is really fun when you're playing like elder scrolls in like you know like you know a a like open world survival or whatever game but like when you're playing a roguelike game bows usually kind of suck you know they're usually kind of boring you know it's nothing you can really make cool about the bow you know it would have to be like a pretty special bow you know am i right am i or am i right leave a comment down below on what you think about the bows what do you think about bows they're cast okay so now we do 84 damage with our lightning i want to see if we can get it to bounce more we're going to get more keys here so this can bring us up to like what three keys three keys i believe or we did have to unlock the bow so that was well dash out of the way so we did use one key so we should be at two keys i believe right now let's just keep out of the way a little bit so they can't hit me so easily just stay out of their range you know i ah 
I'm not very good at it. Just, oh, well, I could have just been using, <laughs> I just could have been using my cast and it kills them because it does 84 damage and that's enough to kill them. I'm not very good with the bow. It puts me in a whole funk of not being able to realize what I'm doing. I'm at 35 health. <laughs> me and the, me and the bow do not mix, but I will do my best. Let's go to Athena and see if we can get ourselves a nice bow. You know, to be fair, I've never really seen a lot of the bow's boons or buffs in general because I never really give it a chance. I never give it a shot. So this is a good opportunity to see what it really has to offer. Maybe it's some really killer like boons because, you know, because of how like slow its attack speed is or something of the sort. Maybe at some point it just becomes like an automatic machine gun, <laughs> you know, maybe hold down the fire button and it just keeps on firing for you. Like, oh, OK, <laughs> take out the skull, dodge out of the way. Use my chain lightning. Beautiful. Move on through. Get in an Athena one. Your father Hades and my father Zeus have not communicated in some time. And Zeus refuses to explain. Something transpired between the two of them. Perhaps you know better than I. Yeah, so Zeus and my father Hades have not been talking for some reason. Your attack is stronger and can deflect. We could do something like that. Your special stronger and can deflect. Okay. Your dash deals damage and can deflect, but also does 14 damage. Isn't epic? An epic Seivu? I mean, I mean, I kind of want to do the attack is stronger, not going to lie, because I'm not too worried about my dash, seeing as how I'm not going to be, like, in the fray as much. So I guess my attack being able to deflect, I mean, it kind of already does. I mean, it, it just, it gets rid of it, but my attack doing 40% extra damage. If it does 60 damage now and I'm doing 40% extra damage, well, 50% extra damage would be 30, right? So that would, so 40%, but, like, half of 30 would be 25 percent that'd be like 15 so that would mean so wait so um 40 percent of 60 that's probably like that that's um that's uh 25 so it's gonna be doing 85 damage <laughs> i think i think that's an 84 84 okay okay you know I'll, it was it, close enough close enough my brain can do the math i i did it i'm proud of myself proud of myself maybe i should have gotten the deflect with the dash because i'm still having a dash just as much get out of the way no, wait a second chain lightning <laughs> chain lightning chain lightning oh i missed i missed <laughs> chain lightning chain to him yeah chain lightning Oh, this is beautiful. I should have been just doing this to begin with. Why, why have I, why, why am I taking so long to do this to begin with? Oh, yeah, it's going to all the enemies. Oh, I want more bounces. Now that is nice. Now this is pod racing with the lightning. Uh, we are getting, we're getting more gold as our next choice. A little disappointing, but I suppose I'll take it. I'll take it, I suppose. It doesn't even lose damage as it goes around. My God, that is... It's just a little overpowered, not gonna lie. Oh god, but it does not do much against the armor or against these guys in general. Keep on just throwing as much as I can. Luckily, they're very slow and kinda not agile. But I do extra damage hitting them in the back. Backstab. Doing all the way up to like 70. They're just like some weak shots. Do a lightning. Oh my god. <laughs> Chain lightning just took them all out instantly. We're sitting at 172 gold now. Um, we can do a mini boss to our left with a new yeah we, we have a new boon to our loft yeah and the mini boss yeah okay good because that's just gonna give us a better boon that's gonna give us a better opportunity that's gonna give us some more choices oh but it's a same it's the same boss lame there are, there's so many mini bosses too there, there's probably like four or five different mini bosses that they can happen here and it gives us the same one again <laughs> you know what is this malarkey what is this hocus pocus what is this malark like uh i've run out of words i've run out of generic white people words to say <laughs> come on take them out take them out Ah, try to get him in the back. I can't quite get him back. Keeping my distance is actually their forte because they just throw bombs at you. They're worth staying up close. Get rid of this. this guy. He's so close, but I keep on missing. And that's the other thing, too. I can miss. <laughs> I can... Oh, God. That is a lot of explosive. Take this guy out. Maybe I can start stunning him. Yeah, now he's stunned. Now he's stunned. Just keep on mixing these two together. Oh, God. I think it doesn't do any damage maybe after the round is over. That was revelry. People having a good time. Well, sure then. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I will accept this message. Accept this message. You have mail. Hey there, Zagman. How's it going? 
look, you have got to get here with the rest of us already. We've been saving you a spot. Let me see what I can do. Make life a little sweeter for you in the meantime. <laughs> Dionysus, hell yeah, my brother. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> he just shows up with a wine glass and like smelling of like smoke. And he's just like, dude, you need to get up here, dude. It's like doing, it's crazy, dude. How about I give you a little bit of something to help you out, dude? <laughs> you know? Your special inflicts hangover. Ooh, so hangover... Uh, status curse for forcing victims keep taking damage stack up to five times. Okay, so they keep on taking damage over time for four seconds. Six damage. Six, 12, 18, 24. So 24 over every 0 0.5 seconds for four seconds. So that's an extra, that's, that's an extra 48 damage. Oh my God, that's a lot. If your health gets below in low encounters, restore to the threshold. I kind of want this hangover damage. Wait, your dash causes hangover several times near where you started? Oh, okay. Now, yeah, if my dash can do that without having to use my special. Yeah, look at that. Look at it. Now we have like a kind of the, these purple clouds going on. That's nice. It'll help kind of kill. It'll help you guys keep track of where I am as well. Because it's a little bit. Sometimes you can get a little lost looking on this on the screen with all these enemies and stuff like that. It's not too bad right now, but it definitely can later on. You know, it can get a little hard to just find it like, where is he again? But if you just go ahead and just start, just look for, just look for the purple dashes. You know, I'll be close to that in front of that. <laughs> Especially when it comes to these enemies. Ooh, I can just go ahead and just keep on dashing around. I don't even have to use my bow. I can just keep on dashing around, still take damage. <laughs> Make plenty of noise with the keyboard, probably coming through in the microphone. Let's just go ahead and just start attacking regularly. <laughs> let's 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 be normal players. Oh, DigiDs. It looks like my Grubhub delivery is uh, updated all the way to about like, you know, 40 minutes from now. I think we might be looking at another cancellation. Let's see if we can get let's see if we can go ahead and complete this run before that happens so we can go ahead and get one more run in. I've been having fun. I've been having fun playing this. You know, I, I hope we can actually, you know, we'll just do one more run after this anyway. Depending on how long this one goes, though, I mean, again, we have not lost. I mean, there is still a good chance that somehow we get all the way to the end with, you know, with this bow. Despite the fact of me not being particularly fond of it, it's still very doable. You know, I mean, I don't know how doable, but if I'm good enough, it, you know, if, if I'm good enough as I just took damage directly from this guy, I thought I was safe, but, you know, I did not have him stunned because he used it from another direction. I was not. Jesus, he made his way farther than I thought. Okay, take the little dark elixir. We have a shop here. Can I restore health? Yes, I can. For 26 gold, I can restore up to 13 health. That's honestly not too bad. Um, an extra 50% damage to armor for the next six encounters? I mean, that seems for 65 gold. That seems pretty good. I mean, there's a lot of enemies with um with armor nowadays. We can either power something up or take a... I'm going to go ahead and just take this. because I, I kind of want more boons. I don't like doing the power-ups. I just want more boons in general. More boons, more capabilities. And look at all this armor. Hello? Jesus. I'm going to keep my distance. They go a lot further than I thought. <laughs> they go a lot further than I thought. All right, keep out of the way. But my armor damage is amazing. I broke through that like it was nothing. I'm glad I bought that. Keep these guys stunned. Keep them stunned. Keep them stunned. Keep them stunned. Don't you dare touch me with that dirty stick. Well, this one was bound to show up, I guess. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. You've got quite the fighting spirit in you there, I have to say. Most intriguing, and yet no surprise for someone born in hell itself. You come on out of there and tell me all about it. I'm a fellow student of death, you see. Uh, Aries, the god of war. Of course, he'd be contacting me and being like, you know, hey, what's up? I see that you're killing a whole bunch of people down in the underworld and trying to escape out of hell. I kind of dig that whole vibe. You know, what's up? <laughs> Your special inflicts doom on uh, doom damage. Basically, after a little bit of time, it does a burst of 60 damage. After slaying a foe, your next attack or special deals more damage. Ooh. So basically, after I, yeah, after I take somebody out and I do 100% extra damage for the next hit. Not bad. Your attack, special, and cast deal more damage. I mean, just... Just 10 bonus damage overall. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, just extra 10% damage to everything on top. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's just like an extra 10%, like extra to the percentage. Or is that like, is that like doing 10% to like the 84 like percent? Or is that like going from like 84% up to like 94% type of situation, you know? Uh, do we want more health or do we want to power up? I kind yeah, we probably need more health. But honestly, if we get strong enough, why don't we just go like the super just like not tank. Why don't we go like the super just like powerful route? The fact that we can just... Hello? Yes, it's inescapable. Oh God, survive for 45 seconds. What if I don't want to survive for... I mean, well, I mean, I, I should... I do want to survive for 40... I want to survive. 
My, you know, but like, ah, chain lightning, <laughs> chain light, go, go, gadget, chain lightning. Uh, where, where is, where is my rich, where is my rune? Give me my rune back. I need more chain lightning. Oh God. Ah, they're cornering me. They're cornering me. I have to keep on dragging. Oh, how did I keep on missing that guy? I was aiming for him too. I kept just barely aiming off to the side. Where is my rune? Give me back my rune. I want my chain lightning back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I do more damage to armor because some of these guys have armor on them. Oh God. Oh God. Um, you know, I may as well just keep on dashing around. Just start doing hangover damage. Do hangover damage. I may as well. It doesn't do better than anything. Did I survive? I won. I survived. <laughs> My God, we took a few hits there. Your attack is stronger and can deflect. Uh, so that goes to 56% extra. So extra of 16%. Ooh, the, the chain lightning goes to 101. I mean, I mean, I kind, I kind of got to do the chain lightning here, right? I mean, I mean, let's, let's be real here. And then we can go do power up again. Can I upgrade the chain lightning again? Hello? Can I do it? Mm, you cast a oh, hundred and oh, that's not too much of an encounter though. Um, I kind of want to do the drunken dash because hangover damage from three to four is a big, and that's basically a, it's basically a 33% increase, but it goes to four. So like, yeah, that's a 33 percent increase that's not bad this is pretty good i'm going to do the hangover damage one because we do dash around quite a bit i'm uh, not seeing anything special around here all right on to the boss hello there mag again <sighs> even if you managed to get past me there's no getting out of asphodel you saw what it was like you really want to go back there it's not a matter of want the way out is there in that direction past the river of flame you're more stubborn than your father i never thought that such a thing was possible well then you thought wrong because now i'm here <laughs> so let's see how well i can do against her with the bow because i do just have to mostly keep my distance right so it should be fine against her since she likes to really just kind of dash in and do her own long range attacks of sorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep out of the way of her big old dash. Use my chain lightning to go ahead and kind of smack into her. Keep out of the way. I still got hit regardless. You know, I'm just gonna kind of casually walk my way around. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah, stay out of the way of her AOE and the way of her dash in general. I do 105 damage. That is a lot. I'm actually right in the center. Ah, no. Okay, use my hangover damage on her. Maybe I can just use this to my advantage. Just keep on causing hangover damage on her. Just get it stacked up. Oh, I am actually low health and I'm deathified. I'm deathified. No. <laughs> Chain lightning. Chain lightning. Ah, no. Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. I I, I have to keep on taking a shot. No. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm not very fond of the bow. I'm not very fond of the bow. I feel there is so much better weapons. I'm sorry. I think when I, I'm, yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks, one for that. Ooh, what do we have here? Do we have some dialogue? What do these shades have to say for themselves? You should, you should have seen the other guy. Have you seen the other guy? Oh, I couldn't see that for a second. Cause of death. I, can't, I don't know what it said. I hope you guys got to read it. Oh wow! So Megara herself got you last time. That must have been intense. She's fast and strong and beautiful and um. Hey yo. Anyway, I hope the fates are nicer to you next time. Hypnos, you, you got something to say about Megara or Meg? You, hey, 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 my boy, my boy, you like you like Meg? You like Meg? Yeah. Yo, man, so come too. on, we let's talk. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? I hope so too, I Zach. Know whom I should thank for the weapons just outside my chambers, Achilles. Is Achilles? Sure I wouldn't have. Though if I happen to run into them, I let them know. <laughs> okay, yeah. So Achilles is the one that actually put all those weapons there in my back room that you can actually choose between the bow. And the sword and why did you give me a bow achilles and just stop father what do you have to say this news of him bestowing on them all their worthless blessings here within my realm our realm explain to me how exactly this is possible nix either your limitless power has considerably waned or you are up to something do not question my power hades your son was bound to be discovered the closer he came to the surface. The Olympians are pleased to know they have a distant relative and bid him welcome to their mountain. That is all. Their influence is very limited. Lord oh, and darkness, do not speak to me about their influence. 
I've seen their influence firsthand. You've made a foolish mistake. You would speak to me of foolish mistakes. You cannot change the course that has been set. Try all you like. Nix. God. And uh, remember, this is just a roguelike game. Yes, yeah, whatever. It's just a dungeon crawler. There's nothing cool here. No, just not a cool, just not very compelling, awesome dialogue and story going on. <laughs> And you know what, Digidees? Ooh, hello, renovate. Some sort um, of special offer for me, my good shape. Restores some health amid the gloom. Fountain chamber Tartarus? Okay, yeah, sure. Work authorized. A fountain chamber in the depths of Tartarus sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, so there, there is a chance I can find uh, like a healing chamber out there in the halls now. Very nice. Well, Digidees, I think that is where we're gonna have to be leaving it off here because I have found out the conclusion to my Grubhub. Let's go ahead and take a look here at this, at, at this wall. Area. Of Hades now is sealed off in utter shambles since the multi headed Cerberus tore the space apart, mourning the missing prince. Oh, that's so sad because the prince was gone. You know, Cerberus ended up just like Cerberus tearing up down the entire again. wall. Hang on, before we even give an outro, this is going to be our outro. We need to pet Mr. Cerberus. Press one to There's pet. A good boy. Yeah. No, oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. It looks like he's like click with the big red dog, but like times three. It's so big. Infernal watchdog Cerberus regards the underworld prince with mixed emotions, from purest joy to deepest melancholy. Yeah, that sounds about right. I love how you got like two basically like heads are just sitting there like dumb and dumber. Then you got like one on the back that's like pure brood. You know. <laughs> you watch over things for me, won't you, boy? You know I'd take you if I could. No, oh, I miss him already. No, oh, what a good boy. <laughs> well, again, thank you, DigiDees, for watching the video. I know this has been a little bit of an interesting week. If you guys want to see more Hades, remember, you have to like the video. You have to comment down below, share it around, do whatever you want. I mean, you don't, you don't have to do that. But if you want to see more of this content, you know, compared to the other videos, make sure to spread it around and, you know, let more people see it because it's going to win the competition if it gets the most interaction. And if not, then make sure to share around the other videos that you think that you should maybe win the competition. But with that being said, I think, um, what is it? I, I, th I think Isaac Repentance is tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that, which, you know, is part of the intro. But, you know, spend an hour long, so maybe forgotten. So Isaac Repentance tomorrow. Come back tomorrow for that. So make sure to subscribe so you get notified when that releases. Um, okay. Now officially the outro. Thank you, Digidees. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because I always ramble on for way too long, <laughs> as usual. But if there's one thing that I can always promise you, that I can see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye-bye, and pet the dog. <laughs>